Capture cinematic 4-axis moving time-lapse with the Emotimo Spectrum ST4. In this video, we'll walk you through the simple and fast setup for a two-point time-lapse move. Mount your camera up to the ST4 using an L-plate and connect the camera shutter cable to the shutter port on the Spectrum ST4. Power on your unit and scroll down once you've paired up your remote to programmed shots. From there, make sure under the shot type you've selected a two-point SMS time-lapse shot. SMS stands for shoot, move, shoot. We'll scroll down and we'll go to set start point. From there, the head's live and you'd want to frame up your shot now from where you want that move to start. Once you've found that uh, frame, go ahead and press X to select. Now scroll down to your end point. Let's move all four axes at the same time to where we want that shot to end the viewfinder on your camera to frame it out perfectly. Once you've set your endpoint, scroll down to interval. Interval is the amount of time between each shot and movement. It must be longer than your camera's exposure. You can also think of interval as your frame rate. For example, if you set your interval to two seconds, the spectrum will trigger your camera to fire every two seconds. Press X to continue. Now scroll down to static time. Static time is the stationary time where the head does not move within that interval. During this time in the interval, the camera shutter is triggered and the shutter is open. Therefore, you don't want movement or unintentional blur. As a general rule of thumb, it's good to set your static time 0.1 or 0.2 seconds longer than your camera's exposure. Once you've selected your static time, scroll down to moving shots. This is however many frames you want to trigger between your start point and your end point. For example, if you set 240 frames, that's how many times your camera will be triggered between those two points. Moving shots will also help you determine how long your final footage will be. For example, if your video that you're making is shot in 24 frames a second, and your moving shots is set to 240, your final footage will be 10 seconds. Press X to continue. Now scroll down to ramp. Ramp is your acceleration and deceleration in and out of your move. Set however many frames you'd like to slowly build up that speed and decrease that speed. If you set, for example, 30 frames of ramp, you'll have 30 frames at the start of your shot and 30 frames at the end of your shot where the head is accelerating and decelerating out of that move. Adding ramp to your shot will give it a smooth feel something more natural than a jerky movement. Now scroll down to lead in and lead out. If you'd like your spectrum to start triggering your camera before its move, or to trigger it once it's reached its end point, you would select either a lead in, which is shots prior to the move, or a lead out, which is shots after the move. Once you've selected your lead in lead out, scroll down to your summary. If everything looks good, press X to move to your start point, and press X to start your shot. You'll see the spectrum will begin triggering your camera and your time-lapse will be underway.